Hi everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to generate attribute values for title blocks with AutoCAD structural detailing. So I've been asked this question a number of times now so I thought I'd do a, qu a quick two three minute video just to show you the process. So I have a simple frame here. What I'm going to do is actually generate some documents on this so I'll attach a southwest isometric view of the assembly like so. I'm going to get rid of things I don't really want to see. Like that. Okay, what we can do, we'll uh, lock the dimensions in there. And then we'll go to our drawing sheet here and we'll actually add that across as a block to the printout. Going to rescale that block there as well. Um, just go and find that. Whoops, that's because I've locked it, of course. So let me just unlock that for the minute. So we'll go back to the additions here and we'll unlock that. Okay, back to our drawing sheet. As I say, we'll change that so it fits on the sheet. So we'll do 1 to 20. Move that where we want, say in there. And again here now, we'll go back into the additions layout. We'll get rid of that information and we'll lock the view. Yeah. Right, so back into here now, what we want to do is bring across the attribute values. Now what I've got set up here, <coughs> if I just insert a block, you can see I've got a block here called UK Part Reference. All this does is this will insert and explode the attributes. Now the attributes are simply just text files. Yeah. So if I edit this, what you'll see is that it's literally just uh, text. Yeah. So it's nothing fancy there. All of the um, codes all start with VAR underscore. So you can find a list of them in the uh, ASD manual. But you just yeah. Basically, if I copy one of these. I'll drop that down over there. That that will update this as well. Obviously, the beauty of just having text notes like this is you can have them in tables, um, you can have them in schedules, bit of materials, as well as title blocks. So let's go ahead and update that now. So we'll update the printout, and instantly now you can see that it's gone ahead and updated all of those values. So it's pretty useful. Okay, so that's just a quick idea and a quick example of how the attributes actually operate within structural detailing. Hope that's been of use.